What is up enthusiasts, it is Cedar Flags here and welcome back to another one of my videos. So as you may or may not know, it has been a little bit since my last video. It's actually been about a month and that is simply because I was on the road. I was getting new credits on a road trip and so it was a lot harder for me to make videos. But I've been writing a lot of scripts recently and these videos are all going to be coming out soon. But before then, we have a little bit of stuff to talk about because a lot has happened. We gotta go to Cedar Point to look at probably our most talked about series on this channel, the Top Thrill Dragster series. So we all know the story by now. If you're here, we know the story. Opened in 2003, closed in 2021, and it is getting reimagined. Now, this has been one heck of a journey, but we have brand new coverage of it because there was possibly a leaked page on the Zamperla website. Now, I really did not believe this whatsoever when I saw it. I thought it was a troll, like a lot of these roller coaster concepts, but this is truly something legit. And the reason I say that is because I'm currently on the Wayback Machine, which is an internet archive on the Zamperla domain, which means this is the official Zamperla website. So, I've seen a lot of videos talking about this topic already. So what I wanted to do today is do a deep dive of what this page says. Everything that it mentions, let's talk about it because this is, like I said, a huge deal. And if this ends up being something completely outdated, then oh well, I guess. Anyways, this is kind of an impromptu video because this is a blind reaction to me too. I saw this and I was like, you know what? I don't have a script for this. I just want to go right to it. So what are we looking at here? Well, as we may or may not know, Zamperla has been the rumored manufacturer for the conversion of Top Thrill Dragster, very similar to how Morgan redesigned the Steel Phantom while Arrow originally made it. So, what are we looking at here? This is a page labeled Top Thrill 2, which I'm going to be 100% honest, I don't know if that's even the name. Maybe this was intentional? But maybe this is not the name. I really don't see this being the name, especially with how much Cedar Fair has been theming stuff. It doesn't really look like that much of a dragster. So for the sake of speculation, I'm going to say that this is named Top Thrill 2 just because this is a pre-announcement page. Maybe Zamperla doesn't even know what the ride's going to be named yet because there are cases where the ride manufacturer may not even know the name. So the first video right here, I did take a sneak peek. It is just a three minute introductory video on Zamperla. There's nothing new here, but there is a lot of showcasing of the rides and attractions, which is very noteworthy because to say the least, Zamperla is on one heck of a rise right now. In five years, if Top Thrill Dragster and other projects become this good, I think Zamperla with its flat ride collection can be one of the greatest companies out there. But yeah, they just show what they do all over the world. They show their departments in Asia, Europe, America. And so that further proves my point that they are just a world power right now when it comes to the amusement park industry. They have rides all over the world. So this is where it all comes together. Zamperla partners with Cedar Point on Top Thrill 2, the world's tallest and fastest triple launch roller coaster. Our roller coaster business unit engineered and designed a new ride experience. It combines the ride's original and iconic top hat, which we already knew, with a new 128 meter or 420 foot tall spike. So the top hat was built with the original model in 2003 and that has been there ever since. If you don't know, if you haven't watched my videos or other people's videos, they dismantled the rest of the ride. All of the track besides the top hat is gone, but the top hat is still there. The structure is completely there. The once 420 foot top hat is still at the same height. It has been getting repainted though and repurposed. So we all assumed at this point that the top hat is going to stay on. And as we could see, we were right. So they are going to revitalize this top hat and build a 420 foot tall spike, which I think is a very interesting choice. Now, am I a fan of it? Well, in past videos, I said, I think they are going to go up to 400. Are they going to go up to 500 though? I really didn't think so. And if this is accurate, then we could easily see that this is going to be around the same height as the top hat, which I honestly think is a good idea because at some point in time, a friend of mine actually said once that if they decided to make a 500 foot spike, 
then the ride would slow down before the top hat and it would be less exhilarating, which I never really thought about, but it honestly really makes sense. All right, let's get into this part. Reimagining the guest experience about a, that reimagining of Top Thrill Dragster. Top Thrill 2 is the world's first reimagined Stratocoaster and the fastest and tallest LSM triple launch coaster. Now, I could be wrong, but I think the fastest LSM triple launch coaster is either Tutatis or Pantheon. These are two intimate swing launch coasters. So, to say the least, this is Samperla trying to compete with Intamin, which seems very bold, especially on a ride that is, like I said, 420 feet tall. So this confirms just about everything we were speculating. The Zamperla is behind this, it's going to still be a Stratocoaster, and there's going to be a new element that's over 400 feet tall. So, this is where I think it gets super interesting. A forward launch, which will be the first launch, will start you off at 74 miles an hour. Into a new crowd favorite, the Rollback. Now, I have mixed feelings on this, like I have mixed feelings on the rest of this. I mean, any new announcement is great, but my mixed feelings are all over the place right now. Let me explain. So, the rollback, if you don't know, was a staple on Top Thrill Dragster. It was a very rare occurrence. Not extremely rare, but if you got it, you definitely had bragging rights. It was when the track was too cold, or it didn't launch fast enough, or something around that, maybe a high wind speed, where the car would actually not make it to the top of the hill, and it would roll back. This was a rare occurrence. I know people that have gotten rollbacks. I personally never got one, but I was fortunate enough to witness one. And the whole crowd was screaming. The riders were cheering. It is truly like a... It's like meeting a celebrity. It's like a once-in-a-lifetime experience. So this putting this on the roller coaster as a permanent idea. Here's the thing about this. I think in the positive realm... Everyone's going to experience a rollback now. Everyone is going to have that opportunity. But let me be completely honest. If I experienced a rollback on the original Top Thrill Dragster, I would kind of feel like this would be an oversaturation of what once was kind of this cool thing to have bragging rights. It's not really cool to have bragging rights about something that happens on every circuit. But anyways, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. A forward launch at a speed of 74 miles an hour or 119 kilometers per hour which leads into the new crowd favorite, the rollback. A second backwards launch reaching a speed of 163 kilometers an hour or about 101 miles an hour, climbing a 90 degree angle on the new 420 foot spike. So it doesn't say anything about it being a twisted spike. So a part of me is just imagining this being your good old traditional twisted spike, which I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't really have a problem with that whatsoever. But I do think it's going to not be as impressive as a twisted spike, like something on Drakenspire. And then this video just shows some of the stuff that Zamperla has been doing. A lot of this is allegedly a part of Top Thrill Dragster Spike. They're showing the new supports. By the way, everything I am showing you is by Zamperla. Let me just clear that out. And here we have a first rendering of the track, which is interesting to say the least. But, uh, yeah, if I can get this to load. But the video doesn't show too much. It just, so, it just shows the track that they're working on, and it also shows, of course, the structure they're building. But we're going to move on. This is the part that I found interesting. I always thought, uh, what, what are they going to do? Are they going to make a switch track? And the answer to that is simply yes. They are making a switch track. Now, this is what they are using for Top Thrill Dragster's new layout. Top Thrill 2, as it has been deemed. So, once again, very similar to Intamin, which very much begs me to believe that this is honestly Zamperla showing Intamin that they can do exactly what they can do. Now, that's debatable. I don't think they could do a lot of the stuff Intamin can do, but they could do this kind of stuff. But this is why many people are speculating Cedar Point going with top thrill dragster as a zamperla instead of an intimate again because of the brand new lightning trains now i'm not a big fan of zamperla trains as you may or may not know i really did not like the trains on thunderbolt at luna park but now we know that those were prototypes as you can see this is a brand new state-of-the-art train that is honestly going to make those look obsolete this lightning train is going to be comfortable it is going to be durable, and the biggest reason that they went with this is because it is very easy to maintain. 
it will be a lot easier to take in the shop and replace with another part. Now, I'm not too educated on why. I assume it's because it's easier to screw off, easier to replace, but that is a very big thing on Cedar Point's part, especially with Top Thrill Dragster being down all the time. Finally, we see this. So it says, using part of the old ride's original track while redesigning the experience required years of research and design for Zamperla's engineers. The most important attribute of the Top Thrill 2 Lightning Train is the weight. Thanks to its aluminum milled chassis and the carbon fiber bodywork, it weighs less than almost any other train this type on the market. So that is something I forget. Of course, aluminum is a lot lighter than other types of steel and... Well, if it's durable enough, I think it could work on here well. If you guys did robotics in high school, you know that as well. But, look at this. We have another set of stats. We have the total track length at 1,043 meters, or 3,400 feet in track. Now, it has a maximum height of a 128 meters, 420 feet, so that is something that is not changing at all. And as we could tell up here when talking about the stats, the top speed of the ride is going to stay at 120 miles an hour so going back down here we have a few more statistics we have three trains and five vehicles per train 20 passengers per train now this is the part that caught me off guard is that going to be enough i don't know and if it isn't enough how long is this line going to be because keep in mind cedar point wants to make the operations on this good they want to make the capacity good and companies like Intamin have shown that they could do this. Look at a ride like Velocicoaster. I mean, if you haven't been to Universal and haven't gotten the chance to ride Velocicoaster, it could have a long queue, like a super long queue, and you will be slowly walking through that whole queue. You'll never wait. They are extremely efficient with their ops. So, I wonder, can Zamperla counter that? Can Zamperla do something like that and have such a good capacity? Now, keep in mind, this is a shorter ride, and... Three trains is better than two, and two is way better than one. So, the final part of here is talking about Zamperla's relationship with Cedar Fair. Talking about, going full circle to the beginning of the video, talking about the flat rides. Zamperla is a flat ride master. Like, they they are huge at flat rides. They're bigger at flat rides than roller coasters. And, of course, they mention mild... And, of course, they mention rides like Pony Express and Cedar Point's Wild Mouse, which has had a lot of operational problems on its own but we are going to bar that for today's video. Basically, this video is just try to be a deep dive on this. Let's go over this one more time. You just have the overall top thrill to analysis. I mean, you really have everything here. Now, like I said, I don't know if it's 100% accurate. This could have been some sort of hack. This could have some outdated information. This could be an older website page, but... Knowing how Cedar Fair and their companies leak stuff, I'm going to assume that most of this is correct. Like I said, I don't think the ride's going to be called Top Thrill 2. I think we're going to learn about the theme this Tuesday, but as opposed to right now, I mean, we know most of it already. Like, look at all the information. We know what paint job it's going to have. We know what kind of theme it's going to have with that logo type. We know a lot of it. So, Really, all we need to know left is the theme of the ride and what the surrounding plaza and queue are going to look like. So, that's all for today's video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and I was thinking over the past few weeks, what if I started to make more videos, but more casual videos like this as well? Let me know what you thought of it, and let me know in the comments below if you'd want something similar. What do you think is going to happen with Top Thrill Dragster? Do you think this is accurate? Once again, let me know. And until next time, this is Cedar Flags, and I'll see you all later.